Welcome back to Therapy Thursday. It might look like I'm standing in a particular yoga pose, but realistically, I'm performing a test that has a predictive ability to see whether or not I'm gonna survive the next 10 years. You may think I'm kidding, but stick with me for a second. Recently, in June 2022, there was a very big paper that came out in the British Journal of Sports Medicine that people read about in newspapers across the world. Essentially, they were looking at vital signs. So they're looking at things like when you go to your physician's office for your annual medical, your height, your weight, your blood pressure, and the point of this study was to show that your ability to stand on one foot as a measure of your balance is very important. Essentially, they took a big group of people, had them perform a one leg balance test. So your free foot, the front is gonna stand on, or stay on the back side of your stance leg, hands at the side and looking forward. And it's a binary response. You either pass or fail the ability to hold for 10 seconds. The researchers gave people three tries on one leg and then three on the other. You may think that's quite easy, but in truth, when you look at the data, your balance falls off a cliff, and that puts you at a huge risk for things like falling, maintaining your autonomy, all kinds of negative outcomes. Overall, in the total study uh, population, 20.5% of people failed the test. So one in five people cannot stand on one leg for 10 seconds, which is shocking. And it goes up incrementally. So from age 51 to 55, only 5% of people can't pass. So it has a 95% success rate. By the time you're 75, you're more likely to fail this test than you are to pass a test. In fact, your failure rate, failure rate doubles every five years. In the total aggregate, 7% of the people in this study population ended up dying, but the risk of dying was four times higher if you failed the test versus if you passed the test. So 17.5% of people that failed the test died within seven years, whereas only 4.6% of the people that passed the test uh, died. And overall, that means that you are at an 84% higher chance of dying over the next decade if you, if you fail the test versus if you pass the test. So super important. It's something that you should focus on. If you're unable to stand on one leg like this for 10 seconds, then balance has to be a key in terms of your training, not just for athletic development, but to ensure your, your longevity overall. Now, there were some issues with the study. It's observational, so it can't denote causation as well. There was a healthy survivor bias, meaning or volunteer bias, I should say, meaning that healthier people were able to pass it to begin with, but it doesn't matter. Let's look at the aggregate sum and just know that balance is super important. And now we know it has a predictive factor to risk of dying. Thanks for listening. If you liked that, then hit the subscribe button. And if not, we'll see you next week on Therapy Thursday.